Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to stake on Injective mainnet and how to bridge your tokens first of all. So to start, you should have INJ as ESC20 tokens on either MetaMask wallet or Ledger wallet. What I'm going to do in this video, since I have a ledger, but I would like to show how to stake with MetaMask, I will connect my ledger to MetaMask so that everyone can then follow the same steps. So if you already have an account in here with uh, ETH to pay for gas and also INJ, of course, you don't need you are, you are already set. I'm going to do some additional steps to connect the ledger. So uh, what you have to do is go to uh, settings and advanced settings and enable use ledger live. Okay. Enable that. Okay. Then you go to again on this icon and connect had wallet. Okay, select ledger, continue, open ledger live, allow. Okay, so you say open here, and then it will ask you to connect your ledger. You do that and enter your pin. Then open the Ethereum app. All right, this is done. And once it's loaded, you can select the account uh, where you have A and INJ. Okay, so here it is. Okay, I I have to I have to add INJ. I'll do that right now in the token list. I mean. You can just go to CoinGecko and copy the contact address in here. As you can see, I have 10 INJ. Okay, so from the walkthrough, this is the staking website where you can bridge your tokens to native INJ and than stake and participate in governance. So let's connect using MetaMask. From now on, everyone using MetaMask, you will do the same steps. Select the account. Okay, so I have to sign on my ledger if you're using a ledger. Okay. You might have to do it again sometimes. Okay. So this is the dashboard. I'll go through the other sections after I have I've bridged because first you have to go in the wallet section and this is essentially the bridge contract. From here you first approve the transfer of INJ uh, to the contract. You confirm.
so the transactions as you can see is pending it will confirm in a, in a second done cool token unlocked okay uh, let's refresh the page Nice. As you can see, you now can select how much you want to transfer to inject it. I'll go with the maximum I have. And it will automatically derive your objective chain address based on, on your MetaMask keys. So you, you don't have to do anything. As you can see, the two correspond. Let's transfer. Sometimes you just have to, to be a little patient dealing with transactions, but they will go through unless you set uh, a too low gas fee. Okay, so now if I refresh the page, I will see zero ING on Ethereum mainnet and 10 ING on injective chain. I think. Okay, I just think we have to wait a second for the balance on, on injective side on injective side to update, but <laughs> it's going it's going to happen soon. In the meantime we can see that here we have a history of Delegation, delegations with them, delegation rewards, re-delegations, and if we've done any, if we've ever unbounded from delegations. So the transaction was confirmed so it's really just a matter of the balance up the updating on injective chain Okay, here we are. We have 10 INJ, 10 INJ on injective chain. Now we can go to stake, which means delegate to a validator. We go to the validators page. We can see that there are 18 validators. Now choosing a validator, it's the user's responsibility since there are some risks involved. Uh, also, there are some factors such as the commission rate to consider. Anyway, I just go pick a random one. Okay, so I'm going to stake. I'm I'm going to delegate five ing. I leave something out. Okay, 
So now I have successfully staked. If I go to the wallet section, here we are. I have my delegation and delegation rewards, which obviously are zero right now since I, I have just staked. And you can also you can also do another delegation if you wish. You can have as many as you want. You can spread your stake among among different validators. That's def definitely something that you can do. And once you've staked, you can participate in governance. So that would be another video, I think. But what you can do once you've staked is is vote on on proposed markets. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good a good experience staking on mainnet. Bye bye.